So good morning, good morning, good morning. It is August 16th. <laughs> My wife is joining me shortly. Jake, I'm gonna need you to look into, I keep getting a closed unused applications. Right now I have just Google Chrome open. I don't know why it keeps giving me that. Anyway. Hi, happy Monday. Anniversary. Me. So, uh, welcome to uh, Monday, August 16th, Daily Office. So, we're having our coffee here. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, do you have a Bible to read? I do have a Bible to read. Well, let's but do it's that. a beautiful morning. It is. it is. Elizabeth just kicked the boys out, sent them off to school. Yep. Make sure they got everything. There was a kid at the bus stop. The bus doesn't come until you know later here in the morning. And they were there when I took the dog out, like half an hour before the bus got there. Oh gosh! I was like, oh, either one kid was bored, two. Um, mom was cranky. Mom was done. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't they, know. So yeah, I don't know, but uh huh. Let's read. We're gonna do. Proverbs 22, verse 1 and 2. Do you want to do that? I can do that. A good name is more desirable than great riches. To be esteemed is better than silver or gold. Rich and poor have this in common. The Lord is maker of them all. Mm. God's word for God's people. Let's say thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Uh, as I told my Bible study group last night, I could uh, probably write a whole book volume of Bible studies just on the Proverbs because it's like as trying to pick one to write about each day it's been like ooh that one no that one no that one oh that so thank you Phyllis and Bambi for the uh, celebratory comments <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you um, so I forgot the proverb because I got distracted. A good name is more desirable than great yeah. riches. To be yeah. esteemed is better than silver or gold. Yeah, Alexis de Tocqueville, who was a French uh, philosopher, came and and studied in America and looked at it, and he said, you know, the Americans are driven by wealth, and their innovations are all driven by a desire to get rich. So um, I think we could you really use this passage that. You know, having a good name, having a good reputation, a, a good, uh, solid character is better than having a full bank account. At the same time, I know people are like, yeah, but if I don't have a bank account, I can't do anything. Yeah, understood. Understood. But but having wealth without that integrity is, is meaningless, is what the Proverbs is saying. Um, proverb is saying. So... Um, and then the second one, rich and poor have this in common, the Lord is God of them both, or the Lord made them both. Something we also forget when we dehumanize others, whether it be the rich and the poor, or black and white, or young and old, or whatever other divisions we put between ourselves. So, so anyway. Any before questions you, you all have? Before you get cranky at somebody, remember God made them too. Yeah, before you get cranky at someone and make them wait at the bus stop for a half an hour. I don't know. That's why the kid was out. <laughs> Maybe she just wanted to be outside. Yeah, I mean, I, it's a beautiful it's, it is a beautiful morning. morning. It is. It is a beautiful morning. So, anyway, what any questions or comments you all have? It was a pretty straightforward proverb. It's hard to argue with that one. So... I don't know. I can see somebody arguing. No, God didn't make those people. They're just nasty nasties. No, God made them. And, and there you have you it. say those people aren't as good as me. <laughs> so, My dog is woofing at the, at the bus. What is he? I don't know. Something's going by. But that's okay. Bus is coming through the neighborhood. Yes. But he doesn't... Every once in a while he'll bark. But mostly he's just... Like he's got a sneeze stuck. <laughs> Snorts. <laughs> Let's me know. Something's there, but he's not yeah. annoying about it. As opposed to me. Hey, there's something there. Hey, there's something there. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
There are so many proverbs that hit home, Phyllis. That's for sure. Yeah, um, it's it's one of those. There's some of them that we go, yeah, no, um, but most of them, most of them are like, yeah, that that resonates. That's true. So, well, let's pray. That's all I got for us this morning. Is that all right. Good? Looks, Let's pray. Sounds good. Thank you, God, for today, and please give us the grace to remember always and everywhere that you made everybody we encounter and that they are precious to you, as are we. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Oh, what does it say? It's so easy to forget we are created by the same God when we feel so disenfranchised. Yeah. Yeah, I can't imagine what the people in Kandahar and other places in Afghanistan are feeling right now. Um, I'm sure that the Taliban is feeling like God is with us because they just blitzed through the country in, what, a week and a half, two weeks? Um, but, yeah... Being disenfranchised, not having power is, is uh, in uh, uh, Oscar Romero, who was just celebrated, I believe, his, either his birthday or his saint day was yesterday, um, or recently. But Oscar Romero, who is a, a Central American uh, priest, bishop, archbishop, was a cardinal yet? Archbishop, um, who was martyred. He, he wrote about God's, pref, God's preferential option for the poor, that, that always, um, for those who are disenfranchised and powerless, God has, God stands with them, right? Jesus said, you know, uh, the poor you will have with you always, but actually the transma- translation was, you will always be among the poor. Um, that the church should be standing with the poor and the disenfranchised and those who feel left out. Um, yeah, anybody can fill a power vacuum. Not just, yeah. So, so how do we bring God's grace to the power? It's a continual, continual struggle. So... Well, I pray that you all have a great day. We're going to get our day started here. Um, Anything else you want to say to people? Have a fabulous Monday. Have a great Monday. God's blessing on you. And I can't remember the rest of this week's schedule, but we're on another day. We'll, We'll see you again later. Alrighty. God bless you. Bye.